Hello and welcome to Panthe the Geeks, you join us for an unboxing video. It's the 30th birthday of Space Marines. And here is the Imperial Space Marine. There he is. And this was the Lunas Edition sold out yesterday. Yeah. We managed to get one each. We did. And um, we were lucky at that. I also managed to get an Index Apocrypha. Which have we bought through? Which is through in the other room. Oh, we'll Which we'll bring through it. at the end of the video. You can have a look at that as well. Uh, that's all we managed to get yesterday. Everything was sold out. Yeah. But um, there we go. Uh, there is the back, including the picture of the original Marine from the uh, 1985, I believe it says on there. It does, yeah. It says in 1985. Yeah, it says in 1985, Games Workshop released the first ever Imperial Space Marine. This box contains a modern day interpretation of the classic miniature. And then it says, the original Space Marine not included. Exactly. Just so you know. So you know that it's not going to metal one in as well. Aww. Which would have been cool. It would have been. If they'd done a recast of it, they'd <laughs> said, here you go as well. But they probably we lost it in. Possibly. Right, yeah, it's hidden, some, hidden in some vault somewhere. Right, so this, um, we're gonna, I'm going to unbox mine and uh, put it together. Then we can have a look at it. Um, but there are, the only, the only variant in this is the two different shoulder pads, which you can see though. Um, blank one or blank a, one. a crimson fist. Or one with a little circle on, which can be used for crimson fist, imperial fist. Uh, any chapter where you can st stick the chapter symbol on basically, <laughs> and it's round. Mm. Uh, I'm going to leave my blank, because I'm going to do salamanders, and I think, I don't, I'm not sure whether the actual symbol will fit on. So let's uh, get this off in off this. Have a look at the sprue. I'm going to wipe mine as well while I'm at it. Oh. Oh. There we go. So. I think the rules are in here as well for it. Yeah, it says rules included at the back. So. That's probably where I saw it. Instruction guide and rules included that. And presented within this rather large okay. there we go. There it is. So it's it's quite, it's just space for the end of the day with a few other lectures on there. So there he is. You see the sprue there properly. Whoa. I'm not used to it with the camera from the side at the moment, so there we go. Right. Not with his head I was covering it with my hand but... Right. So if you manage to get yourself one of these, well done. And this is how they go together. So you start with parts one and two. Which is that bit there, this leg. Part two, I think, is one of the sides. Yes. Yeah. Part two is that. So those two are going together. We've got some cherry new glue to open as well. Cherry? <laughs> Sorry, I've been playing for like four too much. Um, very new power armor. Um, there we go, some new glue. That's it, it's exactly the same as the other one. I think it's, it's, it's a bigger bottle. Unlike the super glue, which has changed completely. Yeah, super glue is cool. Right, so I'm going to cut these first two parts off and stick them together. So there we go, there's part one and two together. It's got a really weird angle where it goes together, but there you go. And then we put part three on. As you can see, it's there. Which is the other leg. And that's followed by parts four and six being four being the head with this sort of breathing mask on. And part six being the disrupt is it a disruption gun, a disintegration pistol, that's it. Disintegration pistol, there it is. So those two parts are going on after part three. So we'll get part three on and get the others on as well. So we're back in a second. Okay, so there's 
We're up to part three. And then we have the helmet, which is there. Totally not compatible with any existing kits. Solely designed for this one. Um, we have a little bit on the bottom of the rubber either, which goes in there between those two parts. Which is sort of on his belt. And then we have a little section cut out there where the front of the helmet fits onto. Kind of like that. You can see that on there. And then his gun, the little disruptor gun, destruction gun, what's it called? It's integration, there we go, got them in an end. Disruptor sounds very Romulan, doesn't it? <laughs> that goes, apparently he's like, the, so it's sort of attached onto his belt, then he's like, like that. So I'll get those two bits glued on, and then we'll proceed. There you go. That's where the gun goes, head is on. Next two pieces are uh, part 12 and part 5, which is the backpack. Stylish old style backpack. And the uh, knife there with the little uh, pouches. So, obviously the backpack goes on the back and the pouches will go on the opposite side to the gun. So I'll get those bits on and I'll be back with you. So there he is. There's a little nodule underneath where the little pouches are and a little bit on the belt where it connects to. So it goes all the way around the back like that and he has his backpack on there. So next is part seven and eight which are the arms. So that's the gun, the really cool gun there, the disintegration combi gun and the, the arm the other on the other side. So I'm just going to put those two on. They've got these like square connectors on there so they can only go on one way. And then I'll be back when I've done that. And there we go. So there it is. The gun, both arms on. Really easy to put together, to be fair. Which leaves us with the three shoulder pads to go on. So part 11 uh, is this shoulder pad here with the studs on. That goes on this side. And as I'll see why. You couldn't put one of the others on if you wanted. Uh, and then the option of 10 or 9, these two here. Um, it goes on the other side. Like I said, I think I'm going to put that one on because I'm going to be doing it as salamanders. And I think Claire's going to put the other one on because I think she's doing crimson first. Yep. So we'll be back in a second and I'll be on his base and he'll be finished. And here he is finished. So then just doing a little bit of stuff on his base just to make him look a bit cooler. There he is. No, it doesn't look cool enough already. So there we go. Let's do that, hopefully. It's a very cool model. And Claire's done hers as well while I've been doing this. That's mine. So there he is with the other shoulder put on. So if you've not seen the rules for this guy, basically uh, he's a free marine that goes in your army and replaces a non-marine. He replaces them basically exactly the same, but he comes with a disintegration combi gun and a disintegration pistol. And um, the disintegration gun is a range 18 weapon, strength 5, AP2, rapid fire, gets hot, instant death weapon. And the pistol is exactly the same apart from this range 9. So. Uh, for a free upgrade, why not? An instant death AP2 weapon. It's a very cool model. Mm. Very, very cool model. Uh, definitely worthy of the 30th anniversary of Space Marine. I would have liked to see a full squad of them though. That would have been cool. So you're never happy, am I? I'm never no, happy. you're never happy. But it would have been cool to be able to have a full squad. That's all I'm saying. So you have like a sergeant, like the old style squad mm. completely. Um, but then again, this guy can also go into my Horus Heresy army because I'm going to do Salamanders next. And um, he's old enough looking to just go in there and be a Salamander with whatever weapon a deem that has. <laughs> cool. Cool. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, did, we, did we say we are going to have a look at the index starters? We did. I'll go and get it. I was going to go and grab that.
so if you want to stay for the second part of this video, we're going to have a look at the uh, Space Room. So this is just a quick look at the Index Starters Pro. Let's see what you got in it, in case you weren't able to get all of them yourself. You can see what you missed and whether you were bothered or not in the end. <laughs> Uh, what's in this I, I really like because it's part of history really, uh, gaming history, my own history of collecting Space Marines over all these years. Oh, there's the two prints from uh, the day as well. So we've got Ultramarines and random Death Legion-y looking army there. Still don't know who they're meant to be. I keep asking people, no one knows. If you do know, put in the comments. Yeah, they look like Death Guard. Uh, people said mentors, but it's the wrong shades. Uh, I really like them though. I'm also almost tempted to make an army in those colours because they look amazing. Uh, so if you don't know which chapter that's meant to be, um, it doesn't really fit any of the first friends apart from Death Guard. Plus he's got the skull on the shoulder. Um, maybe that's who they are meant to be and that would be really cool because I don't need to make an army because I've already got one. If you've seen the other videos. <laughs> anyway. Uh, in here we have some old drawings and a lot of this stuff in here has been retconned. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of really funky old information in here that you got. I'm sure it was like this. No, no, it wasn't. And it was, it's just a retcon there. So you can see we've got the old drawings, we've got legions of the starters. Some of this stuff was in, well, most of this stuff was in White Dwarfs. And there we have the original Rogue Trader dudes. Uh, space Rune Fortress, I think that's a Space Wolves one. That's kind of what it would look like, because these drones are going way back to the mid 80s now. Space Marines again, when Space Marines used to wear camouflage. And there we go. So we got some pictures. This I'm seeing this again, Reese. Uh, re more recent sort of white dwarves. Mm. I'm sure, it was in there, or I've just seen this picture somewhere recently. But it's got some of the uh, the old colours like flash terrors there in black with yellow. It's quite a striking contrast, though. And then we have sort of the older space wolf colours, blood angels, blood drinkers. We've got crimson fists there. Mm -hmm. And uh, there we go. So we've got an old style bike, which is really cool. That's the old jet bikes, the old hover jet bike things. And a little blur about the Raven Wing. It's really hard to turn the page from this side. Then we have a little bit about the Trace Legions and the Horus Heresy. I did read some of this, some of it, like, did that actually happen? And now we've got, because <laughs> down here as well, we've got the Ultramarines. The 13th Legion, uh, made in the third founding of Space Marines, uh, after the heresy in the 32nd millennium. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so everything there has been retconned. It's really good to see this old information though. There is uh, Manus Kalgar. Uh, looks like he's on the loose, to be fair. And he's even got some paper he's on to wipe his bum with. So <laughs> that's... <laughs> I'm not sure. Is that guy behind him? Is that his helmet? That's his helmet. helmet. I'm going to say that guy's still behind him going, have you finished? He even looks a bit constipated. He's he like, does. Mm. He's like, it won't come out. Well, these are, these are brilliant drivers from the 80s. <laughs> um, and they all sell Dreadnought. We saw one of them yesterday. Mm. Very cool. It was a couple of old boxes. Yes. Um, really old boxes kind of thing. In fact, mine is kind of there, that model. For that, that model picture. was there, yeah. Uh, he doesn't look quite as much like he's taking a dump as he does oh, I don't in the know. picture. Oh, well, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to be cruel. Still, but they're very, I wish I had one. They <laughs> yeah, were cool models, I must admit, yeah. for, for like uh, nostalgia and that. Yeah, and then we have like Crystal Columbine, who's the uh, master of ships for the Ultramarines. <laughs> Christopher Columbus. Yeah. Uh, good old days. And all these weird chapter badges, it looks like that Elder symbol then. And even a Skaven symbol in the middle of that. Hmm. Shan't mention them. Shan't mention the Skaven. Um, then about the implants. And so on, this is how the book goes, oh, it's real stuff, a lot of it's retconned. 
especially the beginning stuff and you can see like the old armulus in here as well uh, index stuff is the mental legion so there's the mental legion you can see it's got white and green uh, it's traditionally has but it doesn't match the colors on that print they had earlier and then we've got index starters, squads, we've even got points costs in here where there's like half a point for things it's amazing <laughs> well takes my back we've got Legion of the Damned there they are in all the glory not that we know much more about them than that maybe they're the Firehawks, maybe they're not who knows and then we have uh, Chapter Approved Red Knots and the old style Contemptors, Eddie and Chuck which the newer style Contemptors are kind of based on but just infinitely cool uh, <laughs> but it's technology, what they can do these days compared to what they can do then then some more pictures, very cool uh, old style pictures, even got the Mantis Warriors here uh, we've got uh, camouflage ones down there, so it's exactly the same chapter, which never happened now obviously chapter keeps its colours, but there's like desert versions of the chapter like the, like they would wear camouflage and it even says in their book that Space Springs adopt camouflage because it's it's you know logical to do so and that's it's like, no they don't <laughs> they're far too arrogant for that so it's just amazing to see how things have changed and then obviously Land Raiders, the old style Land Raiders which I do have one somewhere and wish could find it uh, but also in camouflage colours. Some of them are actually Imperial Guards ones, but that's a Blood Angels one in desert colours. Because they would anymore. <laughs> so it's a really interesting book on how things have changed over 30 years. And it's cool to see the old drawings as well. I remember them from uh, early White Dwarves. And there's some of the models of the old Chaplin model, that one, I think. And a really old term now. I think that's meant to be the cataphract one. And then we've got the actual old terminators, um, which I first remember them. Um, the first model I ever got was Blood Angels Terminator. Obviously, it was a terminator I painted the Blood Angels colours. Very first two models, I think they were in a two pack. I'm sure one of them had an assault gun. So that takes me back. I did have these models as well, captain and librarian models. And there's the old style predator. So I hope you're enjoying this trip down in nostalgia living with me. I know we brought them up to date because I remember this in White Dwarf, the schematics for the new uh, version of the predator with the boxy shape and then on the new rhino chassis and everything. And we got like bl proper blueprints and everything. So now this is coming in a bit more sort of not retcon stuff. And then we have the different marks of armour and a little bit of a description of each, which we got in the last White Dwarf, but it's a bit more in depth in here. And some bits were cut out, obviously. Um, but we just left the line drawings again for that. And then, if we just keep going, we've got the Salamander's colour there, which I'm going to try and achieve. So a very dark green. Uh, almost Dark Angels green, but I don't want it to look like a Dark Angel, so that's going to be a challenge for the Salamander when I do it. Um, but I don't want it to be a bright green, I want it to be the darker, original, almost mm. ideal of the Salamander colour, which you can see there, but it's almost Dark Angels due to the historic confusion that went on there. Um, yeah, and pictures of all the things. I think that's Lehman Russ, is it? Yes, it is. That's the, the very first Primark model, apparently. Where he's, he's literally the same size as any other Space Marine. That's the dog that's going to come next to the proper model. <laughs> okay, anything like that. And then, there we go, some salamanders there. The good idea of how the old symbols used to look. And Blood Angels on the other side. In fact, my two chapters. Right next to each other. Uh, 
rhinos again old style rhinos used to love the old style rhino no i don't like the new one i like that as well but i have a bunch of these somewhere probably with the land rider very boxy appearance they're made for a very thin plastic compared to the new one though <laughs> it didn't weigh anything and there they are that was the cover art I remember rightly, good. Did you get two rhinos in the box? I can't remember. It's going back and then the new modern Land Raider comes in. And some pictures of that. There should also be a blueprint of this. So this is all much more modern stuff, which we'll have seen quite recently. Some concept art drawings of the original Land Raider. I kind of like that because it's got like the Predator turret on it. It makes me want to convert one of the Predator turret on top there. But then we've got the epic scale one rated there, which obviously the modern line one was based on. And some more mock-ups and castings. Quite a bit more one raider actually, but it's one of the most iconic vehicles of the Space Marines. A bit of Arkham Land. And then we've got the schematic, sort of technical drawing of the one raider like we have for the Predator. Some old Horus Heresy pictures, and there we have Horus Heresy. Um, this is the actual game. Now, I do have this upstairs. This is the original mm. game where it was all card before uh, Fantasy Flight, was it? Uh, remade it. Mm -hmm. um, but this is the original, that was because that's the original box that I've got upstairs. I have seen it. I've just it out somewhere. Yeah. I should actually do a review of the new one as well because it is really good. Okay. And there we have the picture. Yeah, but it's this is actually going on about the emperor here. There's a picture of the emperor there. So I'm not sure how that relates to it. But it doesn't even give me an answer in this. I want to know how to get our random chapter. And then the famous Horus vs. the Emperor picture, which has been around for a long time, mm. and has spawned the uh, the diorama and. I wish I could remember the name of the person who did the diorama. It was an amazing diorama. Mm. We, we saw that down in um, um, Warhammer Nottingham. World. Yeah. yeah. Before they changed it all. Um, I would assume it still worked. Oh, they're not going to get rid of that one. It's amazing. Um, and then a bit about the Emperor. Some more fantasy pictures. And the Battle for Armageddon. This will be the first Battle for Armageddon as well. With Mr. Angron. I believe he did not. Yay! I think he's actually mentioned on one of these. Is he? Yeah, there he is. Angron. And this again, this was another box game. Battle for Armageddon. Uh, this one I don't have, unfortunately. But uh, there he is, Angron. That was the little counters that they used in the game. <laughs> it was like three stats, one for movement, one for attack, and one for defence, I think. That was it. It's a bit unfair. Angron Demon Primark. Well, he is a Demon Primark. He's a Demon Prince Primark. Basically. And that's the book. So if you're interested in things from the past, if you're an old fossil like I am, in other words, um, it's a great book. You can get your hands on it. I think it's sold out, but I'm pretty sure that eBay will have them on. Mm. People have bought them to resell. If you're interested in that kind of thing, if you weren't, then you didn't miss anything. If you're only interested in the here and now and the Angels of uh, Death book, I didn't manage to get hold of that, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to try and get all of that again, and I might do a review on it if I do. But obviously, you haven't missed out if you weren't interested in the old stuff. Mm -hmm. But as I tripped through memory lane, I was like really nostalgic when I was reading it, and that's, I hope that's come across in the video. I think it probably has. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, please like and subscribe, it helps out loads. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, we'll see you again soon. So, take care, guys. See you soon. Bye for now. Bye.